Now, one thing to understand about fish is you never really know when they're sick unless they're dying. So, in the wild, just like birds and lots of other species except humans, when individuals get sick, the other ones kill it. And the reason why they do that is that a sick fish lingering around with a compromised immune system is much more likely to get sick. And then if a fish gets sick, then it can pass its disease onto other fish. So as soon as they look sick, they look weak, they look suspect, they will often get killed. So what a fish will actually do is put as much energy as possible into trying to look good because if they don't look good the others will kill them so for you to say i can tell when my fish are sick basically means that you can tell when your fish are almost about to die because if the fish can trick each other in regards to their condition they can definitely trick you. So when a fish is stressed and it's got a low immune system, could be because it's getting picked on, could be because it's getting old, could be because it lacks nutrients, could be that it lacks territory or cover. Whatever the reason that their fish is stressed, bad diet, bad immune system, then over time, the immune system of the fish goes down and down and down and down. And when the immune system goes down too far, the body slime stops being produced, the antibodies stop being produced, and therefore the fish is in a very high risk um, situation to get disease. And when they get disease, that, that risks all the other fish. So this whole process of stress, particularly things like breathing heavy, cloudy eyes, um, sort of, they might be scratchy, not sitting in the water column properly. All these signs that a fish is sick are very advanced signs. So when you see a fish in that condition, then you need to do everything you can to try to save that fish because the fact that you can tell that it's so bad means that it's almost too late just in the fact that you can tell. Because when the problem started, it would have been a long time ago, depending on the problem, because the fish have immune systems and the immune system will slowly go down. And then once the immune system is almost ran out, then you'll see signs that the, the fish are sick. So trying to think that you act on sight is a really bad idea. The only way that you can be sure that your fish are not sick is to make sure you're feeding very high quality foods. So like New Life Spectrum and Stanichi. Make sure the fish are getting all the nutrients they need. That's 50% of fish keeping. The other 50% of fish keeping is the environment. So making sure you've got good water quality, making sure the fish don't have physical stresses such as other fish bashing them. And depending on the species, even kids whacking on the glass, if it does stress the fish, then their immune system will be compromised. And if the immune system is compromised, eventually they can get sick. And then if they do get sick, they can pass disease onto other fish. And then it's all over.